Hello everyone! Welcome to Math is Fun! Our lesson for today is all about representing point, line, and plane using concrete and pictorial models. In this lesson, we're going to study about the geometric ideas. But before we're going to discuss further, let's define first what is a geometry. Geometry is a branch of mathematics deals with the study of sets of points. These sets of points are commonly called geometric ideas or concepts which can be represented by concrete or pictorial models. We usually use capital letters to name geometric ideas. One of the geometric ideas is a point. What is a point? Point is any location in space represented by a dot. We have the following models of points. Point A, point C, and point X. In this figure, the vertices are represented by a point. In naming the point, we can use any letter in our English alphabet. So, let's name the points that can be seen in this figure. Point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, point F, point G, and point H. Another geometric idea is the line. It is a set of points with only one dimension called length. Here is an illustration of a line. This is line AB. A line may also be named by a single lowercase letter. This is line D. The arrow illustrates that the line extends endlessly in both directions. We use this symbol for a line. There are two subsets of a line. One is a line segment. This is a line segment XY. Or segment XY. What is a line segment? Line segment is a set of points with a definite length. It has two end points. Let's name some of the line segments in this figure. We have segment AB, segment CD, segment AC, segment BD. These are some of the line segments in this figure. The second subset of a line is a ray. This is ray XY. What is a ray? Ray is a set of points with infinite length in one direction and with only one end point called the vertex. If A is between C and N, then AC and AN are opposite rays. Another geometric idea is the plane. It is a set of points with a flat or smooth surface such as the top of the table, the flooring, and the wall. A simple capital letter is to designate a plane. The word plane is written along with the letter as plane A, plane B, or plane C. Let's have a short exercise. You can pause this video and draw and name each statement. Okay, let's check. Another exercises. Name the geometric ideas represented by the following statements. You can choose whether if it is a point, line, or a plane.
Okay, let's check. Okay, next. In the figure, name the following. Okay, let's check. Next number. Okay, let's check your answer. Do you get a perfect score? If yes, congratulations. If not, don't worry. You can review again our topic for today. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.